story. I'd say probably half the people in Weston are here. In a town of less than 2,000 people, several hundred showed up to show support for the family of First Sergeant C.J. Sedell. C.J. is a member of our community here in Weston. Um, a lot of the people that are here today are members of this community that uh, came out to honor him. Sedell was in the Arif Kalu region of Afghanistan when his unit was ambushed October 5th. Five soldiers died. Sadell was badly injured. He lost that battle October 24th. When you think about it, they've all, you know, gone and served just that we could do this and, you know, be able to even uh, have our say. So that's what it was all about. And so he didn't die in vain, that's for sure. We remember. Rebecca Rooney is a Weston resident who wanted to stand up against Fred Phelps and his followers. So we got everybody here early so that they could take up all the parking spots so that Mr. Phelps wouldn't have a contingency that was really close. This corner is where their permit that they got to protest is for this corner. So we got here long before they did so that they couldn't have this corner. And they came armed with patriotic music, American flags, one large enough to cover any unwanted protesters, and... Pride, honor, love. And the town's arsenal worked. Westboro church members disappeared. I'm glad they left. I'm sad they came, but I'm glad they left as well. And I'm glad that the family didn't have to see them. People came from Blue Springs, California, even Australia, to be a part of the band of patriotic supporters. Half at the intersection, the other half creating a human shield at the funeral home. I think that they didn't do their opposition research very well, because if they knew Weston, it's a patriotic town anyway. Meredith Haynes, Fox 4 News, working for you.